Welcome to today's broadcast. Kako continues his powerful teaching titled The Leadership Secrets of Jesus, speaking about the anointing. Today he shares on how you can be anointed for leadership. Let's join in. How are you going to be anointed? Tell us about how you're going to be anointed. How did Jesus become anointed? Ask your neighbor, how did Jesus become anointed? You see, most people forget that when Jesus walked on the earth, he didn't walk as God. He lived as a man. In Hebrews chapter 2, verse 16, the Bible says, Verily, he took not upon himself the nature of angels. He, he, he took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. So he walked as a man. That's why nobody believed. Nobody believed because he was an online person walking around. But see, he did that to show us how a human being should operate with God. As an example, that's all. He was an ordinary person. So, what did he do to become anointed? Ask your neighbor, what did Jesus do to become anointed? As an ordinary man, what did he do? The first 30 years of his life, not much is said. Just a few verses here and there. But whatever is said is the most important thing that we should know. Luke chapter 2 verse 40 tells us one thing that happened. It says, and the child grew, was strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Luke 2, 52, it says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. So we need that spiritually he grew. Until you grow spiritually, you cannot be anointed. The Bible tells us how he became anointed. It started with spiritual growth. He grew. In the leadership of Christ, it doesn't matter whether you are a mother, a father, you are leading yourself, you are leading a business. The first thing you need to do is you need to grow spiritually. You cannot be a baby Christian and attract the anointing to a certain level. It's not possible. So since this is a requirement, I want to tell every one of us, decide to grow spiritually. Because you need support from the seven spirits of God. Spiritually. First Peter 2, 2. As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word of God so that you may grow thereby. You must Grow. First thing. If you're going to lead us well. To be a good husband, lead your house well, you have to grow spiritually. A good wife, to lead your children, grow spiritually. How are you going to grow? The word of God. Tell us the word of God. As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word of God that you may grow thereby. When Jesus was 12 years old, you know, the Jews, they have something they call the Bar Mitzvah. Bar Mitzvah means able to do good deeds. So when you are 12 years, they take you to the temple. And from there, it is assumed that you know the difference between good and evil. So you go there, they, they, they dedicate you to the Lord in your Bar Mitzvah. So Jesus, when it was his bar mitzvah, they took him to Jerusalem. That's when he got lost. Luke 2, 46 says, It came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, hearing them and asking questions. When they found him, they said, Where have you been? In verse 49, he said, I must be about my father's business.
For him to grow spiritually, the Bible tells us one of the things that he did. It says he was in the temple hearing the doctor. Like, as you are here, you are here. When you say doctor, it's not like a medical doctor. No, these were like doctors of the law of Moses. They have studied the law of Moses. Or they knew the Old Testament. He was hearing them. You see, without going to church and hearing sermons, you can't grow. Thank you for joining us. Today we learned that to be anointed, you need to grow spiritually by feeding on the Word of God. Hearing the Word of God consistently helps you to grow spiritually so that you can be anointed and be a good leader. Join us again on Monday as this exciting series continues with Kako Baden. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Divinely promoted. Dear Kakwa, I sent you a message to pray for me with regards to my promotion, which was long overdue. You responded that you had, and to the glory of God, I have been promoted for the first time in six years. I give praise to God. Thank you, Prophet. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.